Hey y'all, we are out here checking our greenhouse and checking to see what's sprouted because we already see some green spots. We're really excited about that. So how many days did it take before we started seeing these sproutlets? Let's see, what day is it? It was three, da two days. Two days, yeah, because we planted on Saturday. Sunday. Sunday, and then today is Friday and we saw it on Wednesday, so three days, yeah. It was Wednesday, so from Sunday to Wednesday we already had some stuff sprouting. We don't have any tomatoes or peppers yet. Tomatoes will be coming up really soon and peppers can take a really long time, like three weeks on some of them, so I don't expect to see any pepper sprouts anytime soon. But it's just really exciting to see green in here. Um, we have a busy day planned. We're going to take one of the kids to the chiropractor and then we're going on a feed run. Um, but this is really exciting. Look! All the little bok choy sproutlets. And we've got collards over here and some romaine lettuce um, cabbage these only are, see these are colder weather vegetables we yeah know that, but we thought we'd give them a try because we were late getting them started. yeah we're late getting, but i think they'll do all right we'll yeah. probably get at least a little bit of a harvest so we got yeah. our broccoli here um and then down here i found my yarrow sprouting um what else and this the yarrow emma and i just planted on started on monday or tuesday so that was really fast too. And then we have oh, over here our marigolds. Let me show you that. That was probably in my face. They're really close together, so we'll repot some of them in a little bit here. Not today, obviously. But when they get bigger, we'll repot them. Um, and then of course we just have. I have to water everything. It's a little bit dry. Not too dry, but a little bit. So we're really excited about all of that and. We really need to get going though, because we got places to be, appointments to make, and we're we're not running behind yet, but we will be really soon if we don't get on the road. <laughs> Do you see what I see? Spring is coming, and there's already a ladybug. All right, we finally made it to the feed mill. We're After, here. We're here. It took us a lot longer. We ended up running a couple errands and spending a lot more time in. Um, after the chiropractor appointment and then we had to go home and fix lunch and we made it we made it yes so we are here we're in the parking lot we park over here at this building and pay in the office and then i think they process the chickens in there because they sell pastured meats here this is a german baptist owned um, company there's a lot in this area a lot of german baptist owned that's there. This has grown a lot. When we first started getting feed, they only had a couple of feed, um, feed bins. bins. Now they have a huge facility, and it's all non-GMO. We do soy free. Um, you can get soy, but it's become a pretty pretty popular. I <laughs> forgot your video. <laughs> it's I was become admiring a, that trailer. A pretty popular. Yeah, it's a nice trailer place to get feed. So yes. was, all right, Derek's gonna go and. Did you pull forward? Yeah, I'm going to. I'm okay. pulling behind beside this guy. Okay, all right. So anyway. That's a nice trailer. Yep. Yeah. There it could that's be it. very useful for my landscaping company. Yes. And around the farm. <laughs> I don't have a seatbelt on. I need to go to use oh, it. I don't either. At us. Or we're like, in the parking lot. Put your seatbelt back on. Here comes Jack and Jacob. They had to go. Jack, Jacob had to go potty, so Jack took him to the potty. While we drive over here, <laughs> he's got his boots on and his tractor shirt on. It's gotten windy out today. It's a beautiful day. It's a really pretty area. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna run to the cheese shop over here and get a little treat from them. It's a nice little place, has some goodies in it, and the kids have been really good today. We've been in the car day, not all day, but most of the day, and we went home and ate and got in the car again. So we think we're gonna get them a nice little treat. Yep, we did it. <laughs> They're not even organic or anything special like that. But they are. Homemade to, or made to made, order. Made to order. Yes. I'm only gonna eat one. The chocolate one. Yeah. We also got. Yes. 
Or Soy free toxic donuts we got. Non GMO sausage. Yes. With no nitrates or nitrites. It's from the people that um, own the feed mill. Sunrise Farms. Sunrise Farms, yeah. yeah. They make it and it's clean. And then we also got my popcorn. I eat yep. popcorn like probably eat more popcorn than anybody should ever eat in their life. In a week. In like a day. I eat a lot. Yeah. I eat popcorn every day, literally. Sometimes multiple times a day. There's <laughs> organic non GMO. So. Yellow popcorn. And now, we gotta go get fuel. Are you guys wanting some of these donuts? Yes. Yeah. 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 Are you sure? Yes. yes. Have you been yes. obedient enough to get donuts today? Yes. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. They have been very good They have today. been. So, um, we're driving, I need to put my seatbelt on. Oh. And it's right, we're still in the parking lot. Ooh, wiggling the camera everywhere. So, we gotta go get fuel. Uh, we don't have any napkins. We do have baby wipes, but we you don't have napkins, napkins to hand, no. Oh, I have Fresh tons out. of them in my truck. So, let me. Um, hmm. I gotta figure out how to give these out without making a huge mess because they are like literally just made. They're hot. I think you're not gonna be able to do it without making a mess. I think it's just gonna be like eating a cheeseburger. You, you just, just commit and go. You just commit. Yeah, but how am I supposed to pass these out to everybody in the van? You'd have to just commit and do it. But you know me. I'm, I don't like to just make decisions. Commit to things. It's, it's like when you when you eat a cheeseburger, mm. you just it grab good. it up and don't put it down until it's gone because. They just waste napkins. That's true, and that's not very sustainable. At least that's how I do it. Yes, we get to get some fuel. All right, well we're gonna enjoy our donuts and get some gas and head home. Yep. And check our greenhouse again. Check and, our greenhouse. Um, we saw, we went, we checked it again. We got home, and we had tomato sprouts. Oh yeah. I was like, what? So we yeah, we you? planted this stuff on Sunday, and it's Friday. And we have tomato sprouts. That's crazy. Cause they're like seven to ten day germination most of the time on tomatoes, but they're coming up. So, so things are looking up, y'all. We're getting gas. Gary's out there pumping gas. But there's a funny story about this gas station. A few years ago, when we came to get feed, Derek had to go on out, and I had to go in and get a bottle of water or get our receipt or something. And he goes in, and the lady at the cash register was probably a good ten years older than him. And he got his receipt, and he's like, "Okay, thank you." She's like, "You're welcome." Buttercup. <laughs> so I can't help but call him Buttercup from time to time. He was like, "Oh no, I've got to get gas at that gas station." But he does have to go in, so he doesn't have to worry about being called Buttercup. <laughs> he knows I'm telling the story. <laughs> anyway, yep. Everyone's like, "All right, Buttercup, let's go." 